Welcome to Decker Tech. I'm Aaron Decker, and today I wanted to show a little bit about resistances and across the obelisk and how important it is to uh, specifically vulnerable in this game and lower your opponent's resistances. So this is Madness 14, Act uh, 4, specifically the Melancholy Corruptor that says all resistances plus 25%. Reginald is my damage dealer of choice here, dealing holy damage, and if you take a look here, 95% holy resistance. That is the max resistance, by the way. 94 on this this front lancer but these back two here have max resistances of 95 so uh kind of show that uh, i can't do any damage to them magnus did not draw any uh any vulnerable i got one intimidate yippee that uh is not gonna cut it and so we're just gonna kind of flip through some of the turns here she's still at 95 percent resistance because her base is so high plus the melancholy corruptor plus you know madness 14 there's a couple of corruptors there that affect it so she uh, still has 95% resistances. So I'm just going to kind of play out the other player's turns as needed. Uh, you may have seen some of this similar gameplay earlier in another video, but uh, we'll just get through that quickly and get to Reginald's turn, and we'll discuss more. Got to get max resources to Reginald, give him the, the biggest fighting chance he has against this uh, corruption here. And we'll see if he can do any sort of damage to these high resistances. Give him some more power and energy, some bless. Give him all the tools to get this job done. Maybe a little bit more bless from Otis here. Oops, I was supposed to unwavering. Whatever. I'm going to do it in the backwards order just to see if that screws with my timeline because I have this a little bit practice so that you can see the footage I want to show you. Okay, Reggie, what can you do here? Well, we also don't have the uh, Crusader, but take a look at this. Holy Storm. Three. This The card says 64. The character says three. The the this dark guy here, the 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 Dark Knight, as opposed to the Light Knight, this dude has taken uh, 40 damage versus 4. That's 10 times more damage. These resistances are a big deal. 95% to 35%, 10 times more damage taken. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to play his whole turn out as best as he can on this turn, and he's still not going to be able to do diddly. And I'm going to aim for the Martina because she is the highest threat, even if I can't do any damage to her. Let me just play out this turn here. Smite. Uh, draw some cards. Nope. Still don't have the thing. Smite. Smite. Make sure I'm doing this in the right order here. Uh, Storm because it gives bless. Searing Blast. See, look, look at this. So, these flashes are doing piddly, but the Searing Blast are doing fine because the difference in the resistance is 95 to 70. Like, that's still a high fire resist. I mean, I'm still only doing half of what's showing here, but it's so much better, so much better. Searing, Sunbeam, and the Double Flashes. And then we're going to read ourselves a book for next turn. And we'll not play the Sads because we want to keep the energy for the next turn. So, whole turn, full resources to Reginald, nothing happened. And why is that? That's because Magnus did not apply all the vulnerable he's supposed to do. So it's really on vulnerable. I mean, on Magnus not drawing his, his correct cards because of this melancholy. He didn't draw into these these howls and such. So there's some buffer. I got to get rid of that. So howl, howl, howl. Suddenly, at 12 stacks of vulnerable, Martina's down to 58%, which is a lot more. Like, is a, I mean, is going to be a lot more damage. Like, even though it's still a high amount of resist, just going from that 95% to anything else is going to make a huge impact because as you saw it was doing 10 times more damage going from 95 to 55 and that's where she's at now so expect good things on this next turn or at least a lot better things pew 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 all right piggy let's see if i can do your turn a little better than last time Don't mind me. Just getting to Reginald's turn. All right, Reggie. 
Now that resistances are a little more manageable, and by manageable I mean 60 is still a lot. Holy Crusader applies Sanctified to all monsters, and we have the perk that says, hey, Sanctified reduces the resistances even more. Whoops, let's do the right card here. Okay, so I need to find some Bless. To get some Bless, I need the Flash. Doing 30 damage now. Smite. And I think then it's uh, we're going to go Don Lights. AoE, so I've got two more charges of this Holy Crusader. I want to be able to kill Martina this turn. She's still at a decent amount, but as you can see, we're now hitting, like, the Dark Knight. The difference between the, the, the light characters and the dark characters now, the gap is, like, it's only double damage now because we're back into this 40% this to negative 30 range. So it's more important to come down off those 95% resistances than it is to get deeper into the negatives. But don't get me wrong, going to the negatives, super good, super good for the damage. Dawn, Dawn, Beam, Beam, she heals up, Holy Fire. Yay, she's dead to burn. So the whole point I'm getting at here is that these resistances... The higher they are, the more impactful it is to get them lower. Uh, her at 95% resist, I'm never going to kill her. Like, especially like, especially on characters that have any sort of healing, like the Dryads or the Angels. They just, you cannot let them sit at high resistances, otherwise your damage is gimped so hard. And the lower your, their resistances go, the, the faster and more amplified your damage is. That's why the Sylvie videos, I'm able to one-shot the entire enemy team. is because I have all of them at negative resistances. And I have stuff like Bless and Sharp. But Bless and Sharp isn't going to do anything for you if they're, resist if they're only taking uh, a 20th of the damage that you're showing. Like, I, like that card was showing 60-something damage, and it was doing 3. 3 damage. That's all it was doing. I, I babbled enough about that. This is, of course, just in cleanup mode. Give some more resources to Reggie. Finish him off. Wham, bam, we be done. And, uh, yeah. If you'd like to see more of this content, uh, the best way to make that happen is share this video with those that you think might like it. And, of course, there's always the tip option, the little heart below the uh, video here or above the comments. And I will catch you later. Peace.